Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle and I'm an educator at the Vault Academy. I just want to start by saying I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Today we're going to be talking about Safe Vault's tokenomics. So we have three big objectives for today's video. Those are Safe Vault's tokenomics and more specifically its reflections. We're going to have a formula for estimating the number of reflections in dollars. And lastly, we're going to talk about some examples of specific reflections. So we're going to look over here at Safe Vault's tokenomics. So we can look at vaultdefi.com slash safe vault. So we started with a supply of 1 trillion tokens. We have a 5% fee on all buys of Safe Vault and a 30% fee of all sells of Safe Vault. This 5% fee of buying was made to be a little bit lower, that way it's easier to buy into the token. This 30% fee on sells was made to discourage people from selling, encourage longer term holding, and also get more reflections back to the holders. So let's take a look at how these fees are broken down. We have the 5% buying fee broken down. This is broken down as 3.65% back in safe moon rewards. We have 0.83% in buyback and burn, 0.33% in auto liquidity, and 0.165% back in marketing. Okay, so how is the 30% selling fee broken down? Well, we have 22% that goes back to the holders in safe moon rewards, 2% auto liquidity, 1% marketing, and 5% buyback and burn. Okay, so now let's take a look at a formula so that we can actually calculate an estimate for how many reflections we'll get back as holders. So we started with those two amounts, the so 3.65% in buys and 22% in sells as reflections. Okay, so we're going to start by averaging those two and making a percentage that we can use in our formula. So if we average those two values, we have 3.65% plus 22%, and that's gonna give us 12.825%. So we're gonna turn that into a fraction. So we have 12.825, and we're gonna put that over 100. Okay, so that gives us a fraction that's able to represent that percentage. All right, so back to our numerator or top of the fraction, we're going to multiply that 12.825 by our stack of safe vault. So that's how many safe vault you have in your wallet. Then we're going to multiply that by the volume. So that's how many safe vault was traded during that day. Okay, now in our denominator or our bottom of the fraction, we're going to multiply that 100 by the supply. But what's important to remember is that there are two specific wallets that are not included in getting reflections. So those two wallets we're going to subtract from the supply. Now those two wallets are the burn wallet and the pancake swap wallet. Now that's only going to benefit us as holders because there are less supply that are being used to get these reflections. Okay, so let's take a look at how many tokens are actually in those wallets. We can go over here to the BSC scan and we can see the pancake swap wallet and the burn address wallet. We have almost 124 billion tokens in this pancake swap wallet and almost 119 billion tokens in the burn address wallet. So if we add those two together, that gets us 242.4 billion tokens. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look back here. Let's try to make this formula a little bit simpler so that it's easier to use when we want to try to calculate reflections. So we're going to redo this one more time. So we're going to have that 12.825 times the stack and volume. So that's SV. And we're going to put that over our denominator, which let's simplify that. So we have 100 
times the 1 trillion original tokens minus those 242.4 billion that are not included. So if we go ahead and simplify that, we get 75.76 trillion. Okay, so here is your general formula that can be used for calculating those reflections. Now, over time, this formula is going to change slightly. It's going to change this denominator. As we burn more and more tokens, this denominator is going to get smaller and smaller. That way, the, the dollar amounts that are reflected back are going to get larger and larger if the volume remains the same. Okay, so now let's actually use this formula and we can calculate some reflection totals to actually see what this looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in that 12.825. Now let's say our wallet had 100 million tokens. So as of today, that's a little bit less than $600 worth of safe vault. And let's say on this day, we have 100,000 volume, okay? Now we're gonna divide that by our 75.76 trillion, and that's gonna get us the dollar amount back in our reflections. So if we were to calculate this out, we would get about $1.69, okay? So what this means is that we're getting back $1.69 in safe moon rewards for this particular day with that wallet and that volume. Okay, let's say you wanna calculate it at a different volume. Well, let's go ahead and look at the history of safe vaults volume. We can go over here to CoinGecko. We can look at the historical data, scroll down, and we can see that our all-time high of volume was on August 12th, which was just north of 1.4 million. Okay, so all we would do is go back to our formula. We can erase that dollar amount that we calculated before, go into our numerator and change that volume. So if we change that 100,000 with 1.4 million and then recalculate it, we would get approximately $23 and 66 cents. Okay, so that's for that one day with 1.4 million volume with our wallet size of 100 million tokens. Okay, so now let's play with it again. Let's say we had a very high volume day. We can go in and make that 1.4 million and change that to let's say 10 million. Now, if we had a day of 10 million volume, that would change our reflections for that day to about $168. And now that $168 is per 100 million safe vault that you have in your wallet. So let's say for instance, you had 1 billion safe vault in your wallet. Well, all you would do is multiply this number by 10. So that person would be receiving $1,680 for that one day. Okay, so feel free to play around with this formula here. And you can kind of see what you would get for your wallet size or your goal wallet size for any particular volume. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.